Elections ahead of next year's elections. Babaji Day, now you were mentioning, you know, before we went on break about the concerns of um, what the chairman mentioned, uh, uh, politicians, you know, being involved in money politics and, of course, fake news and all of that. But, you know, as we approach the elections proper, how do you think these, these concerns can be addressed so that candidates can be sure that the elections conducted are free, fair and credible? Because INEC has to really do a lot of sensitization because given what happened in, in, um, in Osho and some of the information coming out, it is clear that Bivas is not uh, foolproof mm. because there are cases of overvoting in, uh, in uh, Osho and Bivas is supposed to ensure that that doesn't happen, you know? Uh, so I can't go into all of, uh, the details, but I think that INXT has a lot to to do by way of sensitizing our people and assuring our people that the election will be free, fair, and credible. Right. And that to put his foot down and follow his own rule book to the letter. Indeed. Mayor. My only argument is that um, the INEC chairman should not bother himself about money politics. Because whether mm -hmm. we like it or not, you cannot eradicate that. In a country where people are poor, they will be they, it's easy to sway them with money. Mm. That is the reality on ground. There are a lot of people, things are difficult for some people, and when you, when you try to induce them with cash, they will just look at it that, look, this is my own share, let me take this, I'm sure of this one, I'm not <laughs> sure of any other thing, you know? So, and I know that INEC is, INEC is playing so much emphasis on that, but we have not seen them do that in all the elections. We've seen people, even brazenly, showing, <laughs> giving people money for elections. So, Instead of budging themselves about money politics and the money that politicians will spend, I think I need to spend more time on their staff making sure that the process that they've put in place right. to stop election sure rigging rigging. works. Because Beavers is supposed to stop you. The essence of Beavers is biometrics. Mm -hmm. Like we go to embassy and we do biometrics. And... The essence of biometrics is to identify who the person is using technology. So, Vivas is supposed to do that. Vivas is supposed to say the owner of the person holding this PVC is the genuine owner of that PVC. Because what politicians used to do is they will, call, they, will, they will do what they are doing now, buy a lot of PVCs or sometimes register themselves, then warehouse those PVCs. And on election day, they move around with Tecumog. People who they will go take to police stations to go and vote and all that. So Beavers was supposed to stop that. You get there, the Beavers. So if you cannot, if you have, uh, thumb, you cannot do but through thumbprint, you'll be able to get it through your eyes. There are stages where you are supposed to be identified that this is the owner of it. So for it, for people, for there to be over voting in in Osho shows that Beavers for one for one way or the other did not work in many places. Mm. And now that we are going to have election all over the country. We may, we may have things like that where in a lot of places, mm. Vivas will not work and they will be forced oh, they will to buy it. Mm. Mm. But that's what the law says is that if it doesn't work in the place, there should not be election there in that place. Election. Mm. They should but come see, back the next But they can day. compromise through INEC. For, you see, if there are few <coughs> Vivas that didn't work in mm -hmm. some places, mm -hmm. you can say, oh, there won't be election in those places. But if it is a large scale, um, default and mm. that are lo all over the country, a lot of people don't work. INEC will be forced to use manual. And when you use that, you cannot stop rigging. Mm. Mm. So instead of bothering themselves about what mm. people vote by in and yeah. spending they money, go and perfect their let them processes. perfect their own in house things, their rule book, things that they put in place for election to hold. And then the next one is the issue of security. They should also work with security agencies now. To be able to have a vote pool where they will have security all over the country. Because without security, people cannot vote. All right, and that's a fine place. David, gentlemen, we'd like to thank you very much, Mayor Akinkwelu. And of course, Babaji De Koladi or Titoji is always a pleasure to have you. You didn't have Prince. Prince. <laughs> Apologies, <laughs> Prince Mayor Akinkwelu. No, not me, not me, him. Oh. He's also a prince. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trying to both sway me around. No, 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 because the fact that I just learned today. That the father is going to be king. Coronated. Yeah, coronated well, congratulations again. Our very so that means the prince now. Babaji de Koladi Otitoju. Prince Babaji de Koladi Otitoju.